Welcome to the Weekly Roar, coming live from the Lion's Den, helping new managers become great leaders and awesome bosses. And now, here's your host, Greg Storch. Hey, hello, everybody. This is the Weekly Roar. This week, we are going to talk about living a life without regret, which is kind of hard to do sometimes. I really felt like I needed to talk to you about that. So we're gonna talk about regret in just a second. But for those of you who may be joining me for the first time, seeing my videos, um, right now I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida. I'm sitting on the beach, coming live to you. And um, Lou, it's good to see you, buddy. Thanks for joining. We're just kicking off here. Uh, it's talking about starting regret. We're gonna get to that in just a second, but. For those of you catching my live event for the first time, this vi watching this video, and you, you may not know who I am, my name is Greg Storch. I am the founder of Lion Enterprise, which is a leadership development and coaching company. I work with companies to help them transition towards positive work cultures, and I do that by coaching first-time managers. Those employees who find themselves uh, transitioning into uh, that leadership role as a new boss. I help them during that transition. I actually coach a lot of different people, but that that's my main niche, and I just love doing that. My website's www.lion-enterprise.com, and I got a bunch of resources there for you, so go check out my website. At the top of the page, you'll see Lion uh, the Lion's Pride Library and in the library is where I host all of these videos so you'll see I think this is number 16 already so you'll see all 16 of these videos there Steve Tarilla glad to have you with me I'm sitting here on the beach in Daytona uh, I found a great spot here I'm just I'm listening you probably can hear the surf behind me I hope it's not drowning me out uh, anyway it's great to have you guys with me Today we're talking about regret. I was just doing my intro. Um, in addition to the Lions Pride Library on my website, you can also um, check out my resource on there. Melanie, thanks for joining me. Love to see you here. Just kicking off. I, <laughs> Maureen, love it. Thanks for joining me. Uh, can't wait to see you tomorrow in Orlando. So excited for your first IMC event. Uh, <laughs> this is awesome. I can't, I'm actually really, really excited to talk to you all today about regret and how to, one, get rid of any regret that you have now, but how to start living a life without regret because it's so, so important. So there were a couple of things that happened uh, this past week that really got me thinking about this whole topic of regret and why I wanted to do this live video today on it. Hi Nina, how are you? I miss you already. Hope everything's well in Northern Virginia for you. Um, talking about regret and one of the first things that happened is I joined a very good friend of mine for coffee before I left Virginia and we were walking to the coffee shop, Starbucks, Starbucks, <laughs> and um, she said, we were talking about a friend of ours who was on the phone with her the night before and she was crying um, and she was going through some things, uh, some personal belongings of her father who had passed away a few years ago. Um, and the reason she was crying is because as she's going through these boxes and seeing these items, she was overwhelmed by the sense of regret. And that's how the topic came up between me and my friend Phyllis. And she said something that really struck me. She said, you know what, my mom always told me, always give people roses why they can still smell them. And I thought, wow, that's, that's a great way to talk about how you live life without regrets. Give people roses why they can still smell them. So that was the first thing that happened this last week. 
And ironically, about two days ago, I was watching a video from Gary Vaynerchuk. If you have, hey sis, Laura, <laughs> look, I'm, I found this awesome spot on the beach to go live. <laughs> I love it. Check out my shirt. Positive vibes, everybody. <laughs> love this. Anyway, I was watching a Gary Vaynerchuk video and he was talking about this very thing. And he was like, Regret is the worst poison within us. He said, I wish everybody would realize they're going to die because that's the problem. We always wait and we always push things off and we don't appreciate the things we have. And that's how we end up living with regret. So I'm gonna, throw out a little challenge to you guys actually um, and this is in the vein of, of regret and uh, Gary Vaynerchuk says this very thing and I really agree with what he's saying here and he says go out spend one hour on one day at a retirement home and spend time with those people and talk to them and you will see a life of regret. So many of the people there are at the end of their time on this earth and all they'll tell you about is all the stuff that they regret not doing, the things they regret not saying, the job they regret not taking, the business they regret not starting. Just regret in its rawest form and man if you take one hour of one day to just sit not only is it a cool thing to do for people but man it, it can change your life you'll go back home and you'll start doing stuff right here right now and the reason why Gary Vaynerchuk says I wish people knew they were gonna die because if you knew if you knew when your time was up you would be doing things a lot different and that's just it you don't know you don't know when your time's up. What if you were gonna die tomorrow? What if you're gonna die tonight? I know that's a little morbid, but I'm trying to put things in perspective for people because we don't know when our time's finished here and this is exactly how you build up regrets because you keep thinking that you have all the time in the world to get it done and you don't you don't we don't know we don't know when our time's up we don't know how long we have to do that because you need to do it today make today day one not one day one day I will one day may not come it's just crazy it's really been weighing on my mind heavily about living with regret and letting go and the reason why is because I feel like life's too short to hold or have regrets about stuff I mean I at first I was like you know what exactly is regret and regret is negative vibes their negative feelings and their negative emotions about a decision or something we've done in our past and some of the top things that people regret in their lives if you go to this uh, retirement community and spend time with them here's some of the things they're gonna tell you I spent too much time worrying I cared too much about what other people thought about me it what they regretted it because they realized I'm getting ants on my feet <laughs> they realized that they didn't they wasted that time because they couldn't change that it was out of their control and they worried about it for nothing another regret is they didn't follow their passion they thought they would get to it and here they are 80 90 years old and it's too late you can't go back and start that business. You can't go back and hug your siblings and tell them that you love them. It's too late. 
they may be gone. And that's how you get regret. They also regretted that they didn't travel enough. They regretted not taking risks. I love this one. You know, Sam and I took a huge risk moving to Italy. Huge risk. But had we not taken the risk to move and follow our dreams, to go live and work in Europe one more time, that would have been a regret. I would have been the guy sitting at home saying, I wish I would have. Don't be that guy. Don't be that gal. <laughs> Don't be the person, I wish I would have X, Y, Z. Fill in the blank. Don't fill in the blank. <laughs> Don't fill in that blank because if you're saying, I wish I would have blank, it's too late. You know what? And the last major one is they regretted not spending enough time with loved ones. This is important because at the end of the day, life is about your relationships. Life is about the relationships you formed with people and how you nurtured those relationships and what you've left with those people. It's not about the job you held. It's not about the car you drove. And it's not about the house you lived in or the pool you had. It's not about any of that. When you're 80 or 90 or at the end of your life, you're on your deathbed, what's gonna matter is who's standing around that bed. Who are you thinking of? And did you have any regrets? Did you not tell the person that you loved them or how you appreciated them or what they meant to you? You gotta take opportunities right now to do that stuff. You can't think you've got time later to do it. You don't. So don't wait or you will live a life of regret. I'm telling you and I promise you and if you don't believe me, take that hour on one day and go sit at that retirement community and you'll believe me then. So, I, um, Talked about how life is too short to be dwelling on the past and worrying about things that we can't change. You know, don't be that guy that said, I wish I would have. You can't change that. And all you have is right now, this second. What would you do? I'm gonna ask you this question and I really want you to think about this. What would you do if you knew that today was your last day here on earth? Make a list, think about this question. What would you do if you knew that today was your last day on earth? And there's plenty of people out there. There may be somebody watching this video right now that it is their last day on this earth. If it was, what would you do differently than you're doing now? And when you think of that, make a list of those things because guess what folks? That's your bucket list. I love people that make bucket lists. Why? Because they're on a path to living a life of no regret. They have a list of all the things they wanna make sure that they do before they run out of time on this earth because guess what, folks? Nobody gets out of here alive. That's right, life's gonna end for all of us and we gotta make sure we're living it to the fullest every day. All right, so making a bucket list and starting to knock those things off your list is how you get rid of the regret that you have now. But how do you continue to live a life without more regret? First thing, and I've already touched on this a little bit, are our relationships with people. They're the quickest way to feel regret later in life or immediately. So you gotta let loved ones know how you feel about them. And not only tell them, you gotta show them. It's in word and it's in deed that we show people that we care about how we care about them and how we feel about them. So relationships 
Relationships is a huge one. The other one is about your dreams. If you want to live a life without regret, chase your dreams. I don't care how small the dream is. I don't care how big it is. Maybe you're dreaming of a Starbucks coffee today at 3 o'clock. You better go do it. Follow your dreams and don't let your fear, false evidence appearing real, fear stop you from achieving your dreams because fear will hold you. Fear is designed to keep you right in your safe zone and not let you move forward. And what will happen is you will run out of time. And the longer you wait, the less likely that you will achieve your dreams. Don't wait. Today is day one for your dreams to start, not one day. Work-life balance. I've talked about this before. You cannot, you cannot. If you want to live a life without regrets, you cannot allow your work to consume you. Yes, life is, I mean, work is important, but so are all the other areas in your life. Work is only one spoke. You have relationships, you have social gatherings, you have values, you have your health, you have so many other facets that oh, you owe your time to. Because if you only focus on work, if work's the most important thing, one, you lose the ability to give the other areas the attention you need. And when you do that, guess what? You end up with regrets. You regret that you didn't do something because I was so busy. And remember, at the end of the day, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter what you did. Working late at that office and missing your child's birthday because you just had to get that report done, don't do it. Don't do it. Why are you doing it anyway? You got to ask yourself that. If you want to live a life without regret, why are you working that job that's killing you and taking your time away from other people? because you bought that big house, because you got that big car, because society has made you think you need to keep up with the Joneses. Take it down a notch and live a more simple life. You'll be much happier and you'll actually have time to spend time in the other areas of your life. You know, I'm crazy about work-life balance, so you know, ugh. just think about what you're doing and don't sink yourself just into that job. Now, I love this one. Sam will tell you this all, that I do this all the time. Don't take life so seriously. You've probably heard people say, you're gonna have a heart attack, man. Don't be so serious. I always think of the Joker when I talk about this. Why so serious, right? <laughs> and so, I really have learned how not to do this. I don't take a lot of things serious because you know what? There are a lot of things that just aren't that serious. There are things that do require you to be serious and I'm not downplaying those at all. You need to give serious attention to the things that need to and you, know, you need to know which things those are. But not all things in life require you to be serious. Find joy, find humor, find laughter in things in life. And you will not continue to live a life of regret. I love this one, not taking life so serious. I know, Sam, <laughs> I laugh at everything. And my poor wife, she looks at me with this look and she says, do you take anything seriously of of course I do the things that I feel are serious get my serious attention so um, the other thing is taking risks you got to get out of your comfort zone and you got to take risks if you're always cautious you're never you're gonna be limited when you're in your safety zone you'll never you're, you're gonna miss out if you don't get out of your way and get out of your comfort zone. And this goes back to the whole fear. Fear will keep you right where you are. Push fear aside and move forward. Get out of your comfort zone. 
Because even if you end up on the wrong side of the risk, the worst thing is you're gonna take a lesson away from it. Failure is not bad. It's not the dirty F word. Failure is opportunity. Failure is an opportunity to learn and grow. So take risks, be a risk taker. Do you not think that Sam and I took a huge risk moving overseas? Of course we did. What if she didn't like the job? What if they didn't like her? Hardly, unbelievable, never gonna happen, but what if? Then what were we gonna do? That was a huge risk we took. Be a risk taker and you can avoid living a life of regret. You know what? Be yourself. Be your authentic self. Don't be fake for anybody because you'll regret it. Be who you are. Man, I know a lot of authentic people and I love them to death because they're so authentic. I love it. Be who you are, man. That's what makes each of us special and different and unique. You should be proud of that. Be proud of it and cherish that you're different and be true to that. Because when you're true to yourself, you're not gonna have regrets. I wish I would have fill in the blank. Here's the biggie. And this one's gonna go on for a little bit and I'm, I apologize in advance for that because I can't even see my time right now. So I'm just gonna say what I gotta say and then I'll end my life. The biggie is, woo, it's big. Practice forgiveness. Pra uh, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. We've all been hurt before. I, we've all been hurt by someone or something. And that's usually when our values have been compromised or our expectations haven't been met. We, and we harbor. We harbor that anger or that fear and we, we hold grudges. When you have the ability to learn to forgive, you free yourself. Because here's the thing, we've all been wronged before and we've all been hurt by people we love. But at the end of the day, we have a choice on how we're going to take that hurt and that grief, that anger. Because listen, it's happened, it's in the past, and you can't go backwards and change anything. And this is why the power of forgiveness is so powerful. Because you're not changing what has happened, but if you get to a place where you have the power to forgive it, then you can move on and accept and start living in here and now and not living in the past. You got to let go of that. People are like, oh my God, I'm not forgiving them. What's wrong with forgiveness? It's not weak. It's not weakness to forgive. It's not a weakness. It's actually power. Think of it in those terms and practice forgiveness. Practicing forgiveness will free us from the grip of resentment and that's what people regret most. They resent or they, they regret that they didn't do any of these things. They didn't chase their dreams. They didn't take risks. They didn't travel more. They didn't tell the people they loved that they loved them when they could. So I'm going to share a little story with you real quick. Uh, when I got to Daytona Beach, I was meeting with my two sisters. I'm, I, I won't mention their names, Laura and Debbie. <laughs> and, you know, what I learned was I talked to my sister Debbie and she said, Hey, um, Laura and I haven't been talking for a while and I'm not really sure why. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to talk to Laura and see what she's saying. And I met my sister Laura for lunch and she said the same thing. She said, I... I'm not sure what happened, but I'm not talking to Debbie much, and I'm not, I'm not sure what I did. And it was interesting that Laura went to the place like, I'm not sure what I did, making the assumption that it was her. I love that about my sister. Um, she's so introspective. And 
After I got talking to them, I realized that they stopped communicating because they made a lot of assumptions. And one of the things I, I spoke to Debbie about was how we all have different perspectives of things. You know, we all see things differently because of the filters we view our lives through. And we built those filters by how we've grown up, you know, where we've been and our parents and our values and where we went to school and who our friends were, our life experiences, where we worked, what we did for a living. You know, interesting, Laura and Debbie lived completely different lives. And getting to a point where you can be understanding of the other person's perspective, go to where they are, is when you connect. And I talked about connection, and if you want to learn more about how becoming a better connector, I have the video on being uh, increasing your influence by becoming a better connector. Um, and you can catch that on my website, lion-enterprise.com in the Lion's Pride Library. Go check that out. Uh, you might enjoy listening to some of the ways you can become a better connector. In this particular instance, Laura and Debbie really made a lot of assumptions and don't really have the real facts about what happened. And it's just a simple matter of getting together and talking. Communication, at the end of the day, everything is about communication, whether it's a miscommunication or not. Wars have been started over communication or miscommunication. So I'm hoping that they will get together. It looks promising that they're gonna have lunch and, and talk and share their expectations with each other and focus on not the past of what may have happened or may not have happened, but focus on the relationship they wanna have now, today, right now, because tomorrow, what if one of them doesn't wake up tomorrow? What if one of them gets hit by a drunk driver tonight? God forbid any of that happen, but I'm just trying to give you perspective. I'm not trying to be morbid or, or you know, a shock. It's just that we, we lose perspective sometimes. And so I'm probably running over my time, so I'm going to wrap this up. I wanted to wrap it up with a quote. It says, don't live life regretting yesterday. Live life so, live it so tomorrow you won't regret today. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Don't live life regretting yesterday. Live life today so you won't, tomorrow you won't regret today. So think about that. I hope you all <laughs> have a great weekend. It's Friday. I'm heading to Orlando tomorrow for the Maxwell convention. I'm super excited. Gonna hook up with a bunch of my network friends and get motivated. Ride that wave of momentum for another year, hopefully. Um, listen, be powerful, but stay poised just like a lion. Thanks for tuning in today. Thanks for sticking with me, everybody. I will catch up with you in the comments. So thanks for joining me. Have a great week ahead, and I can't wait to see you. I, I think I'm going to be able to join you next Friday, so be on the lookout for that. And until then, I just hope you have a great, regret-free day. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. Thanks again. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching the Weekly Roar live event at lionenterprise.com. If you enjoyed this video, please tell others to join us each week here in the Lion's Den. Thanks again, and see you next week.